everyone, this is Shanine Marie de Bulusan, and for today's video, let's learn about understanding the basic concept in ICT. First, what is ICT? ICT or Information and Communication Technologies is a broader term for information technology, which refers to all communication technologies including the internet, wireless networks, cell phones, computers, software, middleware, video conferencing, social networking, and other media applications and services enabling users to access, retrieve, store, transmit, and manipulate information in a digital form. And now, it's time for us to understand the terms and concepts in ICT. First, we have technology. Technology refers to a mix of process and products used in the application of knowledge. Technology when used correctly can benefit our education systems, our teachers, and our students. It can benefit our students by encouraging them to use their critical thinking and reasoning skills, be more creative, and gain skills using the computer and other devices. It is also knowledge or a set of tools that helps make things easier or solve problems. Next is ICT Literacy or Information and Communication Technology Literacy. It is using digital technology, communication tools, and networks to access, manage, integrate, evaluate, and create information in order to function in a knowledge society. ICT literacy would then pertain to the skill of making an effective use of digital technology, communication tools, and the network to satisfy the user's information needs. Next is educational technology. It is the concept of teaching and learning through the efficient medium of technology. It facilitates an in-depth understanding of the fundamentals of technology and its operations. There is a range of objectives of educational technology in order to help the teaching-learning process yield the best possible results in an efficient and economical way. Next up is digital literacy. It refers to an individual's ability to find evaluate and clearly communicate information through typing and other media on various digital platforms. It is evaluated by an individual's grammar, composition, typing skills, and ability to produce text, images, audio, and designs using technology. Next is digital learning. Digital learning is any type of learning that is accompanied by technology or by instructional practice that makes effective use of technology. Digital learning is also a learning method based on the use of new digital tools to enable learners to learn in a different way. Whether it be face-to-face, -face, distant learning, asynchronous or synchronous, or blended learning. Online digital tools and apps use an internet connection. Common example is Google Meet, also known as Google Hangouts Meet. It's built to let dozens of people join the same virtual meeting and speak or share video with each other from anywhere with internet access. It's meant for use by businesses, education, and other organizations. And it's a great way to discuss a lesson or business meeting and other staff of a particular organization. Next is offline digital tools and apps. One example is the Miriam Webster app. It's a free dictionary. It is an offline dictionary for looking up and learning about words. Also, the app offers voice search, synonyms, antonyms, example sentences, word of the day, and more even with no internet connection. Instructional technology. Instructional technology refers to the theory in practice of design, development, utilization, management, and evaluation of the processes and resources for learning. It is used to improve educational and training systems in organizational settings, school systems, and universities through the application of research and best practices from instructional technology. Now, let's get into software. Software in its most general sense, is a set of instructions or programs instructing a computer to do specific tasks. Software is a generic term used to describe computer programs that run on PCs, mobile phones, tablets, or other smart devices. Multimedia 
is an interactive media and provides multiple ways to represent information to the user in a powerful manner. Multimedia is a representation of information in an attractive and interactive manner with the use of combination of text, audio, video, graphics, and animation. Internet a global computer network providing a variety of information and communication facilities consisting of interconnected networks using standardized communication protocols. The internet provides a capability so powerful and general that it can be used for almost any purpose that depends on information. And it is accessible by every individual who connects to one of its constituent networks. World Wide Web is a computer system which links documents and pictures into a database that is stored in computers in many different parts of the world and that people everywhere can use. It is a network of online content that is formatted in HTML and accessed by via HTTP. The term refers to all the interlinked HTML pages that can be accessed over the internet. Web Access Web access is the ability of the learner to access the internet at any point during the lesson in order to take advantage of the array of available education resources. WebQuest is an inquiry-oriented lesson format in which most or all of the information that learners work with comes from the web. This can be created using various programs, including a simple word processing document that includes links to websites. It is an electronic, digital, or physical tool that can expand the human ability for performing tasks or generating products. Productivity tools are applications that allow for the viewing, creating, and modifying of general office documents. It allows users to create specific items quickly and easily as opposed to creating the same items by hand. Example, Microsoft Office. Apple Works Word Processing, Grade and Record Keeping, Web Page Production and Presentation. Technology Tools is an instrument used for doing work. It can be anything that helps you accomplish your goal with the use of the technology. These technology tools can be classified as data or calculation tools, design tools, discussion tools, email tools, and handheld device. Blog. Blog is regularly updated website or web page, typically one run by an individual or small group that is written in an informal or conversational style. It is a website containing a writer's or group of writers' own experiences, observations, opinions, and etc., and often having images and links to other websites. Wiki, a website that allows collaborative editing of its content and structure by its users. A typical wiki contains multiple pages for the subjects or scope of the project and could be either open to public or limited to use within an organization for maintaining its internal knowledge base. Flip Classroom, a type of blended learning where students are introduced to content at home and practice working through it at school. This is the reverse of the more common practice of introducing new content at school, then assigning homework and projects to complete it by the students independently at home. Podcast A digital audio file made available on the internet for downloading to a computer or mobile device, typically available as a series. Podcasts allow you to share knowledge with the relevant audience. Google Apps Google Apps is a cloud-based teaching tool which is stored in the Google server and is available for students both at home and in school. Google Apps facilitates the provisioning of Google application and user or enterprise management tools including the Gmail, Google Talk, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Videos, and Google Cloud Connect. Vlog personal website or social media account where a person regularly posts videos instead of the text. 
blog is a set of videos that someone regularly posts on the internet in which they record their thoughts or experiences or talk about a subject. Facebook, a social networking site that makes it easy for you to connect and share with family and friends online. It allows registered users to create profiles, upload photos and video, send messages, and respond or link to the information posted by others. VoIP stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol, is a transmission of voice and multimedia content over the internet protocol networks. It is also a technology used for delivering different kinds of data from a source to a destination using IP. It is a technology that allows you to make voice calls using a broadband internet connection instead of regular or analog phone line. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something in this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye!